This is group 8. My name is Ndabase Tole and my other colleagues will introduce themselves. So it is important for students to let their lecturers know or to give them feedback on whether or not they understand a certain lecture or topic. So this helps the lecturer to focus on the parts where the students say that they didn't understand. They can either give them another lecture on the set on the same topic or they can give he can, or they can give the students additional material to read so that they are able to understand the topic better and then this also ensures quality education and with the availability of technology a system can be developed where students uh, are able to air out their perceptions on how the lecturers deliver the lectures to the students. So the title of our project is to implement a student lecture or topic perception. And basically, the aim of this project is to develop a web-based interface or an Android application where students can give feedback to their lecturers or where the students can evaluate the lectures or topics that are given to them by their lecturers. And this makes it easy for students to uh, give feedback to their lecturers on whether or not they have understood a certain topic. And it also helps lecturers to know where they have to improve or do better in the way that they deliver their lecturers to the students. My colleagues will take it up from there. All right, so in this presentation, I'll be focusing on three parts of the project proposal. Number one being the problem statement, number two being the objectives, and number three being the research questions. So for the first part, which is a problem statement, a problem statement is basically just a gap between a current state and the desired state. So with that said, um, the sole purpose of this the sole purpose of this project is basically you know, just to design and implement a software system where students can, can be able to uh, alert lecturers on topics that call for concern in the course. What I mean is uh, they'll be able to tell lecturers on topics on which topics that they do not understand. So this system is not only for students, but also for lecturers as well. So the lecturers will be able to know uh, the, the topics where students are, are you know, are slight, do know why students are not understanding certain topics. And the second part, which is the objective. So, okay, um, for the objective, it's basically broken down into two parts, being the general objectives and the specific objective. So the general objective is basically just to develop a student topic lecture perception system. For the specific objectives, it has been broken down into three. Number one, which is ensuring that uh, the application is easy for students to use. That's, that's uh, you know, taking out complexity. Number two, ensuring that students have access to an application anytime and anywhere and number three to provide a website interface or an android application the third part which is the research questions so for the search questions the, the questions were basically broken down into three number one being how will the application be created number two what can be done to ensure that the students have easy access to the application and number three what can be done to ensure that the application is user friendly all right, so I think I've, I've talked uh, I've talked on the three parts of the presentation, and with that said, um, thank you. Lecture evaluation as a process is very important to improve the quality of learning. Lecturers must uh, evaluate the learning outcomes and also give an opportunity to their students to evaluate their performance during a lesson. So this entails that the lecturers are responsible for the achievements of their students and also for their own performance in delivering the lesson to their students. This is uh, mainly to monitor and control academic quality. When we consider uh, changing development, we find that the application of student evaluation system should use computer technology as a basis for web development. The web-based lecture evaluation
education system is a part of efforts in improving the quality of education and performance. So students should be able to familiarize themselves with uh, the changing technology and they should be able to give their feedback to their lecturers using these computer technologies. Because unlike traditional in-class paper version, one research indicated that online systems, they allow students to complete their evaluation exercise in time uh, during the specified range. So students have, have more time to think about the extent to, to which they should rate the topics and give the most thoughtful rating and feedback. So this this um, software application is just like any plugin inter plugin integrated with Moodle, and it also allows the instructors to decide on whom should view the contents that they upload. So mainly the ICT eleven ten lecture student perception feedback application will also enable lecturers to upload a number of topics previously covered on Moodle so that students can, they can read the topics based on their subjective perceptions. So this system is not implemented independently but it will seemingly be integrated into Moodle and additionally it will cater for students and lecturers from the Department of uh, Library and Information Science. So the main purpose of this application actually is to make sure that uh, the software application is developed and that it should be easy for students to use so as to give feedback on their lecturers, on their lectures on certain topics that they may have not understood in class. So it is very beneficial because uh, the students, they will be able to give feedback quickly to their uh, lecturers just online. And also, as mentioned earlier, that this application will be used by those in the Department of uh, library and information science and it will operate in such a way that the users will need to access it through the university uh, e-learning platform the Moodle so the implementation of this application will be done in three parts firstly there is the designing and this the designing of the system through coding then second the configuration of the modular object oriented dynamic learning environment which is also known as the Moodle and lastly the integration of the application into Moodle as a plugin. So when all this is done we we'll find that the instructors will be able to upload the topics thereby making them available to students for them to rate the topics according to the subjective views of the topic. Okay I'll be talking about procedures and ethical considerations. This chapter is devoted to describing the method of study, selection of, of sample, two used, administration of two, scoring procedures of two, statistical techniques used for analysis. The success of a research study mainly depends on the collection of reliable primary data through an intensive field study. Statistical data can be collected by investigating only a small portion of the universe or every unit of the universe. The first is known as the sample method of inquiry, and the second is known as the census method of inquiry. The census method is rarely used in the case of social phenomena. Generally, sampling is applied in, in social science research. Absolute accuracy is not essential in the sample method. The progress of the human race depends upon the well-conducted research. These research programs postulate sufficient, reliable, and valid facts. Such facts are obtained through systematic procedures, devices commonly known as data gathering tools. Each research tool is appropriate in a given situation to fulfill a particular purpose. Coming to ethical considerations, ethical considerations are one of the most important parts of the research. 
Therefore, it is imperative that ethical considerations are vividly and properly laid down in order to prevent the abuse of cyber rights and also for students to know how far they can go and where to draw the line in, the, in terms of speaking their, their minds concerning the ICT 11 lectures and in order, to, in order for students to have proper comprehension of what they stand to achieve at the end of the program. Thank you.